What's up everybody, welcome back to the Rad Dad channel or welcome, either way, glad to have you. Today, we're going to be working on getting this nail out that you definitely need a tetanus shot to work with uh, and patching up the tire. Let's roll that intro, get back to it. Alrighty, so before we start doing this, let me first say uh, I was debating on doing taking the whole tire off, doing that actual patch that like tire shops will like it's a permanent patch or whatever. Um, I was de debating between that or one of the trusty, you know, like thick spaghetti noodles that you always do. Um, I have used one of these in the past a very long time ago, like six years ago, and I know they are not super fun to use, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so, but anyway, I was debating on doing the two between longevity, because these tires maybe, maybe have 80 or 90 miles on them. Uh, and I guess this is karma's way of punishing me because I took a very on-road setup Grom with very on-road street tires. Um, and I had a, a lot of fun in some very not on-road conditions, as you could tell by all the, this is after rinsing it off with the hose. Um, so both bikes need washed. I need to do that ASAP, but uh, yeah. So unfortunately, because of other stuff that I've had in the works uh, between YouTube and we just got back from Legoland yesterday, just a bunch of busy stuff, I have not gotten to plug this and or ride this uh, for a, probably going on almost a month now, which is uh, pretty depressing. So today uh, we're gonna do it. So yeah, the reason I was between the two um, because those are the two best options in my opinion and the old school train of thought is that that patch from the other side is like the only permanent one or whatever. But uh, I watched a couple of videos and one of the videos that actually pushed me over to decide on this one was the video by Fortnite. He said he's gotten multiple uh, motorcycles with these patches for a long time now. All is hung up, all have held up. He also did a, uh, a test with all the different styles and actually these not only came out on top, but they kind of reseal themselves if they were never to be punctured small again or whatever. So the size is good. That should be uh, thin enough, especially once the head of the nail is out of there. It should be good enough. Um, I can't say I'm not gonna take my bike back in the same location because it was pretty fun, worked on some fun off-road stuff. Uh, you know, doing some, you know, I don't know the technical term, but some quick turns, you know, from a stop, just kicking out the rear wheel to turn a 180, um, fun stuff. Fun on the Grom, not set up for it, but whatever, you live and you learn. So, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna need to do is get a set of pliers. We're gonna need to remove this nail. Uh, I have not aired down the tires. I'm just gonna leave them. I'm not worried about it. Whatever air pressure is in there is in there. Um, but then, so we're gonna remove the nail. Hopefully it's not crazy under there. Um, we're gonna ream out the existing hole, make sure it's nice and clean and everything. Uh, and then we're gonna stick the spaghetti noodle in there so but you'll see everything i'll bring you uh, closer the instructions are here this was like five bucks at a hardware store and it came with a lot of them they actually had a nicer one with t-handles but i bought this specifically to be able to keep i'm gonna something i should have done a long time ago but uh i'm gonna keep one of these in each of my bikes this will go under the seat in the grom another we another of these will go uh in one of the saddlebags for my harley which Harley, I uh, have a Lowrider S, a 2020 M8 Softail, bunch of stuff, playlist to that anyway. So if you're not new, you definitely knew that if you aren't new and or you maybe have just only seen my Grom stuff, uh, there you go, Harley stuff. So yeah, uh, I should have done this a long time ago because it's invaluable, it's super cheap, but yeah, like I said, uh, I mean, every your local gas station should have them, but I went to an actual tire store to get like a decent, or a, not a tire store, uh, auto parts store to get like a, a little bit better of a decent set with the, you know, they had a bunch of them and they sell these, once you buy the kit, they sell the refillable, you know, spaghetti noodles or whatever you want to call them, the tar strips. They sell those for like, I think it's like $2 for a, a big set. So yeah, and you know what? It even has ATVs and tractors and stuff on here, but we're doing it on a motorcycle. All right, I'll bring you guys closer. Let's fix this Grom up.
some in the middle came up on that. I'm not really happy about that. So what I'm gonna do is try to take it out. If I can get it out, I'm gonna redo this portion of it. And if I cannot get it out, I'm just gonna cut it and leave it. It's a grom, not too worried about it. All right, here we go, take two. There we go. I think that was a lot better. All right, now it says to go ahead and cut it about an eighth of an inch from the surface. It says on the package to patch it on the bottom. We're not going to, I will let you guys know uh, in the future how this holds up. I'll be obviously monitoring the tire pressure, uh, obviously, like I do every time I ride it anyway, but I'll be monitoring it extra with this, even on the days I don't ride it, uh, like weekends off or whatever, I'll, I'll check it just to make sure it holds up. And I will let you guys know uh, either on another YouTube video or in my Instagram, I'll let you know. But let's go ahead and chop this sucker off an eighth of an inch from the surface. That may or may not be one eighth of an inch. Uh, maybe I'll come and, no, it should be fine because it's gonna wind up blending. Anyway, now we gotta air up the tire uh, back to whatever you had it aired up to in the past and it should be good. Alrighty, we are done. Uh, pretty easy. Hopefully it holds up. I have pretty good faith in it. Worst case, you know, the Grom is super easy to work on. I'll just take the wheel off, take the tire off. Speaking of which, if you have not seen my DIY tire install where I put these puppies on myself, go ahead and make sure you check that out. And if you saw the bike was actually on a rear stand, I have a video devoted to these stands too. Uh, came in a set front and rear stand, really handy for the Grom. I have pretty good faith in them that they'll work for like a medium uh, to light sport bike too, maybe like a gigantically heavy. Uh, definitely don't do it on the Harley, but yeah. But hopefully this holds up. Uh, let me know if you think I did a good job. If you don't think I did a good job, let me know. But it's really sticky over time. It'll mesh and become one with it. Um, lots of people, I've read lots of things and lots of articles that say people have had their, their tires on them for a long time. It's not a part of the tread, so it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't screw up the tread pattern at all, anything like that. And again, it's a Grom, so I'm not super worried about this. Uh, if it was a Harley, just because I'm paranoid about it and I do a lot of, uh, pretty good riding on the Harley, I would probably wind up dropping the tire or dropping the, the wheel off the bike and removing the tire and doing the patch on the inside just for a little extra peace of mind or maybe even doing both of these, who knows? Um, but either way, this should be good. It's a very quick, easy fix if you're on the road somewhere or on a trip or whatever. Um, and yeah. Pretty good, so thank you guys for watching. If you wanna stay up to date with all my day-to-day -day stuff or whatever I do, I post some uh, some food pictures, I do some smoking of meats and some uh, really nice cooking. My wife is incredibly lucky to have me, I tell her every day. Check out my Instagram, send me a DM, follow me, you know, comment or whatever, let, you, let me know that you're from YouTube or whatever. I converse with uh, many of my subscribers daily. It's a great community and I appreciate uh, being a part of it and I appreciate you guys responding to me. Comment on this video, let me know what you think. Do you have one of these in your tires? Would you trust this on one of your tires? Let me know either way. Watch one of the videos that are on the screen wherever I put them up through YouTube magic. Make sure you like this video, make sure you are subscribed and you turn on post notifications. And until the next time guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad out.